sound like Horus' great grandfather. Why in the world do you want to try and get Thor's ass? I can't. I can't do this. Look, man, we gotta impress. Look at, look at these arms. They, they, look, man, you can get bigger and we'll impress them Valkyrie chicks. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We gonna impress all the Tessa Thompsons, all the wait. Sif wasn't in this movie, was she? No. Where was Sif? Where was Sif? I, you know, hey, out of the three, yeah. out of the three, Jane Foster, Valkyrie, and Sif, like yeah. Sif is, Sif is the one that I would want to. Valkyrie though, like Valkyrie more than help. In fact, wait, no, we have to talk about the whole movie. Yes, welcome to a plus you review. Oh, we oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I know you haven't been here for a while. But that's not how we do things here. What? That, 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 that's not. That's not quite how we do things here. Cause how, you know how we do things. We you gotta set it up. We know we get back and forth, and then you know you gotta cue that intro. The intro goes hard every single time. Oh wait! You know they can they can they can see you now. Oh, it's it's an edit, so it feels. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Thor Ragnarok, the plus you review. That movie was bars it, on the screen. <laughs> it was some. It was some. It wasn't what I expected. I, I'll give you that. It wasn't yeah. what I expected. I, best Thor movie. Not saying much. Yeah. But best Thor movie. Fair. Fair. It's the best in the yeah. trilogy. I would say so. Oh, gosh. There were so many things about it that just caught me off guard. But there were also some things that caught me off guard in a bad way. I'm going to go ahead and say that now. It, it ain't perfect for me. Should we start with the good and then go to the bad? Or yep. Like, you get okay. one good thing, one bad thing, and then we'll, we'll give our review. Uh, I would say a win for me would be really the tone. Like, the tone of the movie like really, like was awesome because it was completely different than anything we've seen from Thor before. Thor was always just like the kind of like take him seriously to an extent just like demi guy like superhero who was out there and like his movies were just kind of like half Lord of the Rings like half uh, freaking like North mythology like half um, we're gonna throw in some like fish eye wire jokes in here. I'm just kind of, you know what? Like we don't really need that. With Thor Ragnarok, he's fully aware. He's a part of the joke, and it's awesome. The tone of it was completely just like cool, and just like all the characters that they had, and all the different casts and characters, and everybody who was in the movie, they brought it in and they added to the tone, and it fit. Like people are gonna compare this a lot to Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, I feel like it's still, it stood alone also because the way they blended the humor, the way they tied in the characters and tied it all in back to Thor into the central like cast of characters. Everyone's in on it. Thor, who's awesome. Hulk, <laughs> who's great. <laughs> um, I mean, like Hulk, who's great. Um, Hella, Kate Blanchett kills in every single movie she's in. So, I mean, really just, and Jeff Goldblum of all people. <laughs> He, he, well, Jeff Jeff, Goo, Go, Jeff Goldblum is good at Jeff Goldblum. He, Jeff Goldblum is uh, Will's favorite actor, by the way. So be sure to hashtag that. Will's Ooh. favorite actor. So anyway, mm. but Jeff Goldblum is going to Jeff Goldblum. And he Jeff Goldblum's it up <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> but literally, like, everybody in it is just so good. All the new characters, like, just with the tone they had for the movie and what they were trying to do, it fit. And it really just made, like, one of the funniest Marvel movies I've ever seen. Like, I mean, I really was laughing. I was just, like, sitting and just, like, laughing. I was just like, oh, my God, this is me. Yeah, it did give me some genuine laughs. I, I do have to admit that. I, I'm i not as for the tone. Like, I wasn't swept up by it. The tone kind of just, like, similar to how Guardians of the Galaxy is, where it's not really my kind of movie. I wasn't really feeling it. It's similar to that. So I can see why people were related to Guardians of the Galaxy. I still think Guardians is a good movie. I think yeah. it was a necessary movie to change up the superhero genre. And I think that Thor Ragnarok also was a necessary movie to keep the genre like different, to inspire other different types of superhero films. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely good for that. It's just looking at it, I know that it's not my type of thing. 
What I really liked about it, though, were the set pieces and the CGI, like, mixed together. They felt... Yeah. yeah. I knew when places were, because it's just like, there's no way that you could have, like, filmed this. This isn't a set piece anymore. Mm -hmm. But the blend was really good. Like, the way that it was graded, the atmosphere of the movie itself, so moving back to the tone, Yeah. it made things work. Yeah. And there's another movie coming out in, like, a week or two that just from the trailers, I can already see that's not going to be the case. But I'm, oh, okay. hopefully, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hopefully optimistic. Op op optimistic. <laughs> well, yeah, that movie has already turned me off. But I'm hopefully, hopefully optimistic. Hashtag review embargo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on with, like, just, I don't know, like, things we didn't like about the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, while I did recognize that Thor Ragnarok was great, there were some parts in it I was just kind of like, you know what, eh. Personally, for me, like, I really feel as though they didn't really flesh out the plot as well as they should have in some aspects. Like, for example, like, I feel like Thor, like, took a back seat in, like, a... Now, the whole movie, obviously, because it's still his movie, but I feel like not only just, like, Thor, but, like, a little portions of his arc that make him Thor, while at the same time, while the tone was great, they took away, like, different aspects of Thor to really, like, make him Thor. Like, all of the Warriors 3 that we, like, grew to, like, I mean, at least appreciate to some extent or another. Like, they're all killed off within, like, five seconds of Hela coming around. Nah, nah, not all of them. You had, you got your budget cut. <laughs> you get your Warrior 1 this time. <laughs> you get your Warrior 1. They had, they had combined, like, two minutes and 31 seconds of screen time. I feel like one of my big issues was with the whole movie was that some characters just felt you know what I don't even want to say the characters it felt that a lot of what was going on in the movie were pulled from other things heck Thor himself felt like he was not pulled from the Avengers like universe it felt like they pulled that Thor from the Civil War behind like the Civil War extra thing of where was Thor during Civil War. Oh my god, that was funny though. It was funny. <laughs> I do agree with you. Like, I feel like it works, but at the same time, I don't feel like this is like a like a continuation of the Thor story. Like, it definitely isn't a continuation of the first two Thor movies, but I would argue that it's not for worse, but it's more so No, for it's definitely for better. Yeah. It's just... When we've been with this character for four movies now, because you had Thor 1, Thor 2, Avengers 1, Avengers 2, really. Yeah. This Thor is drastically different, and the tone of what he set up is drastically different from how he affected everything else so far. It's a strong tonal shift from how Thor has been so far, okay. and I don't like that because continuity-wise, I don't feel that it fits. Well, let's continue and talk about how we're going to rate this movie. I mean, you, we can do it however. All right, so, I mean, obviously, like, Blockbuster, Marvel, uh, Tessa Thompson, like, for those three, those three reasons alone, I mean, I would have to say, like, it's a must-see, like, for sure. Mm -hmm. Just with how they were able to, like, tie everything together, like, this is probably, like, the fact that this movie... I mean, this is going to be a great superhero, like, year. This is going to be a great year for comic book movies in general. Justice League notwithstanding. Maybe. Maybe. But even still, Thor is definitely up there as one of the best. It stands alone in different aspects this year. And it was great. Absolutely great. Phenomenal. The cast was great. I mean, the way that they weaved it in and, like, really just told a nice, cohesive story. Even though it wasn't fully consistent with what they did in the past. Even still, Marvel... Blockbuster, Tessa Thompson. We all know the women are gonna see it for Chris Hemsworth and like his wherever he has. Like, I mean, really, just the movies in my seat. Like, it was really well done. The director, like, I don't really know what he did like other things for, but he was awesome. So, I would say must see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, I actively disagree. Because the whole thing about the Marvel Cinematic Universe was its continuity. That's that's what they sold that mess on. And it feels like as they're starting to wrap up with uh, Avenge, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet and Secret Wars and everything, that that's kind of diverging. Mostly because people feel that it's very formulaic to try and stay with it, which I understand. At this point, it's been almost, what, 10 years 
since the start of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Iron Man, the 10 year anniversary is next year. Yeah. So it's been a long time of us like getting adjusted to that. We know how to accept it. At the same time, though, I feel that the big three, Iron Man, Thor, and uh, Captain America, they have to stick with it because they're the ones that are setting up the current phase for Marvel. After after Secret Wars, sure. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Secret Wars confirmed. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, look. Hey, no, no, I'm giving my review. Okay. Yeah, I ain't interrupt you. (laughs) And he didn't. But he didn't. With that said, I definitely think that it's a good spin on a superhero movie. It's just not one that I specifically liked. I think that it's necessary for the genre in order to start doing new things. I feel like I'm gonna dislike what you're about to say. uh, Maybe, but. I like that it's very different, and I encourage other superhero movies to be different. It's just for the continuity of what Marvel set up with. I feel that those three big characters can't be so far out there that they feel like totally different characters as how they were set up in this universe. So, with that being said, this felt like a blockbuster movie to me. I give you that. But see, the thing is. I don't think all blockbuster movies are good just because they're blockbusters. Blockbuster movies kind of have tropes to them. You that better not them. be putting this on the same level as freaking Transformers 5. Mm, well, I didn't see Transformers 5. So. Don't watch Dark of... Wait, I was about to get that crack confused. It's all the same thing anyway. Oh, you were talking don't. about the Dark Universe? The guy canceled? Don't watch that either. No, well, you can't. It's over. But one note, it's not over. Thor Ragnarok. Which I have to give a watch this. Mostly because I don't hate it. I don't think it's bad. And I'm not saying that it's like a... Ugh, this is a bad thing to get. It's a good movie. It's entertaining. I got some genuine laughs out of it. I laughed really hard in it. At the same time, I'm not a, like, a big fan of Thor as it is. So I already had like my distance to it. Man, man, no. And okay. on top of it... I'm not a big fan of the type of genre that this is. I think they work together really well, but at the same time, I wasn't going to be wrapped up in everything that was happening because I'm not as attached. And looking at it from the perspective of not being attached, yeah, it was good, but not everything that I wanted it to be. So there you have it, folks. He's biased. But it's not biased, it's an opinion. That's what they came here for. Well, his opinion matters because I'm going to be the one editing this and putting it like, you lucky that I don't just crop you out of this mess. But, 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 I wonder if want to see this tremendous Baltimore Ravens hat that I got from, um, eBay. Look, if you guys want to nah, you know celebrate just, your team. You know what, just for that, you're going to get cropped out for the rest of this. See what happens when you... Look, man, I'm trying to get some this. promotional thing. I want to get on this. I want to get on this change. Now nah, they're gonna be looking at me, looking off screen, and then be wondering what happened. You just gonna hear a voice out there. You lucky. Act up again. Speaking of voice out there, like no spoilers, obviously, but be sure to stay after the credits as always for every Marvel movie. If you don't buy now, where have you been? Yeah, it's no. Marvel. Yeah, I'm where starting to get sick of like? people walking out on these. Like Marvel I saw movies. people walk out the credits, and I'm just like. What is he doing? Like, like, what are you trying to accomplish with your life? You know that there's, it's not over yet. That's like walking, like, when the movie's still happening. Technically, the movie is still happening. Mm, yeah, but it's just how it rolls sometimes. Anyway, you're going to have to roll out of here because it's finally stopped raining in this area. Yeah. For goodness gracious. So I'm going to have to get this stuff on while I'm out of here. About name time. Anyway, shout out to uh, Chenzi Graziano, Vincent Graziano. Uh, he was a PA on um, set for Thor Rad and Rot. We went to college together. Big ups to you, homie. Uh, you're doing great things. Cast yeah. me in next project, please, because... You know he worked on Black Panther, too, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what he... <laughs> I don't know what he did on that set, but I do know yeah. that that was like one of the big things. I was just like, right so, on, bro. Right yeah, on. no, that brother is doing his thing. He is doing his thing. But uh, big shout out to you, bro. You're doing great things. Cast me in your next project. Help me meet 
Um, That's not what we do. You you gonna be cropped out. Just wait. Just wait. Look, man. Let me just get out there somehow. Get out. Just, okay. just